Mistake number two, inconsistent navigation. Take a look here. Where do you click to go next and where do you click to go back? It's fairly clear, right? You've got a next button up here, you got a back button down here, a little bit hard to read. And then maybe on the next slide, we have a couple more options. Where do you click to go next? Where do you click to go back? Back's probably pretty clear. I think this is the next button up here, but from slide to side, the navigation changes. They want, this person wants to use custom navigation, but it's varying from slide to slide. That's confusing and it adds to cognitive load for the user, so it actually detracts from the learning experience. How this should be redesigned is that every slide should have the same next and back buttons, however you want them to look, and they should always be in the same place. Every slide should have a similar layout for the navigation with an identical look and feel for the next and back buttons. Much better user experience. So takeaways here, if a navigation experience is inconsistent, it does lead to extraneous cognitive load, which means students or your learners are distracted from learning and they're trying to focus instead on just using the tutorial. Pick one, custom or built-in. Choose one, stick with it. If you're doing custom navigation, your own buttons on screen, deactivate the built-in navigation controls in the player bar. Also choose a specific look and feel for your custom buttons and stick to it. If something is an interactive button, it should have the same look and feel through the entire 